Hello and welcome. Welcome to practice. Welcome to your body, your mind, your breath. This is going to be a little bit more towards level two practice. Uh, do whatever is good for you. If you consider yourself not a uh, level two yogi yogini, that's okay. You can still flow with me and try and do whatever is good for you and skip some poses that are maybe too challenging for yourself today. And even when we consider ourselves level two or level three, it's not every day that we want to uh, engage uh, into those poses. So feel free to do what is good for you. <laughs> and that's what yoga is for, for awareness and uh, to find our balance. I'll guide a uh, brief breathing exercise for us to connect with our bodies before we start moving. We'll end with breathing exercises and a brief meditation as well. Um, yeah, so that's my plan today. So let's sit cross-legged, flip our palms facing up. We'll connect our Mukula Mudra. Mukula is this gesture as if you're holding a little bit of something in between all your fingers. You connect the tips of all your fingers and the thumbs. And then you rest the back of your hands on your knees or thighs. We'll breathe with this gesture, with this movement. Mukula Mudra implies um, a bud, a flower, is still in the bud stage. So it brings awareness to what do we want to develop, what do we want to make grow our potentials, all the positive potential we have in ourselves, in relationships, in uh, the way we see the world and uh, we see our relationship with ourselves. So let's start, close your eyes and connect with this gesture. Breathing through nostrils. Relaxing your shoulders. Elongating the neck, elongating the spine. Two more breaths. From here, as you inhale, we'll lift this gesture towards the sky. Your fingertips are all facing the sky. Hold the air. Kumbhaka. As you exhale, you flip your palms facing down. Breathing in, hold. While you're breathing out, your hands are descending as if they are pushing all the heaviness down into the earth. Flip your palms facing up again, Mukula Mudra. Inhale, hold. Sign out. That was our first cycle. Let's inhale together up towards the sky again. Stay with air in your lungs, observe. Exhale, flip your palms facing down, breathing in and hold. Exhaling slowly as your hands are lowering, pushing energy down to clear your mind. Breathing in Mukula. Sign out. Breathing in towards the sky. Stay.
Breathing out, palms facing down. Breathing in and hold. Breathing out, descending slowly, feeling the earth inviting you to be with her. Palms facing up, Mukul inhale. Flat air bowl. Inhale in the sky. Stay. Exhale, flip the palms facing down, inhale, concentrate, choose to stay. Exhale, cleaning the aura space around you, inhale for Mukula, stay. Sign out our last cycle, the fifth one. Inhale this guy. Stay. Exhale, palms facing down. Inhale, energy. Stay. Exhale, slowly lowering, cleaning the energy, pacifying your mind. Mukula, inhale, stay. Sign out, flip your palms facing down, sweep your thighs as if you are getting rid of old energy and shake your hands out. If you have a yoga block, bring it to your practice. If you don't, that's okay. We can modify or get a pile of books. We will start up. So. Stand up and step towards the top of your mat and mountain pose. Open the chest. Guide your gaze towards the horizon in front of you or a little bit above it. Breathing in, arms up. Breathing out, forward fold. Breathing in, halfway up. Shins or floor. Breathing out, palms down, bending the knees and stepping the right and left toes on the back of the mat for high plank. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, lifting the tailbone a little bit more. Breathe out, pushing back into downward dog. Move your legs, breathing through nostrils. Glue your hands against the mat, squeeze shoulder blades lightly together without forcing. Relax your neck, nod, and the head back to center, breathing in. As we breathe out, we lift to the heels, we bend the knees, and maybe the rib cage connects against the top of your thighs. We will do that a couple of times, breathing in. As you breathe out, high plank, breathing in. Breathing out, downward dog. Breathe in. Breathing out, heels up, bend your knees. Breathe in, plank. Breathe out, dog. Breathe in, heels. Breathe out, release. Breathe in, plank. Breathe out, dog. 
Breathe out to lift to the heels, bend the knees. Breathe in. Breathe out, stay. Breathe in. And breathe out, step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhaling halfway up. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees, inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, hands together in front of your chest. Namaste, D. Inhale. As you exhale, you interlace your fingers, send your tailbone to the back of your room. Maybe lift your toes away from the mat. One inhalation. As you exhale, arms around your body, interlace fingers behind your tailbone and lift your arms towards the sky. Drop your toes all down against the mat and try to separate them and surrender into forward fold, squeezing shoulder blades, lifting the arms, inhale. Exhale, arms down, bend your knees, maybe touching the mat for a chair, you wave all the way forward and up. Exhale, lowering, touch, inhale back. Exhale down, inhale up. Exhale down, inhale back. Exhale down, inhale up. Exhale down, inhale back. Exhale down, inhale up, last two on. You stay in chair if you want to do something different, bring your feet together, knees together, hands in front of your heart and twist to your left. Hands are almost going to your shoulder and you push, bringing them to your heart. One more breath. Exhale, center, inhale, chair. Exhale, twisting on your left. Two more breaths. Inhale, center, chair. Exhale, hands on the mat, hopping or stepping back. Plank, breathing in, breathing out, knees down, breathing in, arching. Breathing out, knees, chest and chin on the mat. Breathing in, breathing out, baby cobra. Breathing in, curling the toes on the back of the mat. Breathing out for downward dog. Stay and breathe. So, these poses we did now, you can choose to keep doing them. I'll also guide Chaturanga and Upward Dog. But if they are too much for you, you can repeat the same sequence we did now. Just knees, chest and chin and baby cobra. Feel free. One more breath. Sign out. Next inhalation, plank. Inhale in plank. Lift to the right leg back. Exhale on your right elbow. Inhale, kicking back. Exhale, left elbow. Inhale, kicking back. Exhale, chin. Inhale, kicking back. Exhale, down. Inhale, left up. Exhale, left elbow. Inhale, back. Exhale, right elbow. Inhale, back. Exhale, chin. Inhale, kick back. Exhale, downward dog. Breathe in. Sign out. Bending the knees. Hopping or stepping towards the top of your mat. Lift halfway up. Exhale for forward fold. Micro bending knees. Inhale all the way up. Exhaling on your heart. One more inhalation. Sign out. Next inhalation. Open your arms out. Gaze down and start to hinge in from your hips. Squeeze your navel in. Lift the tailbone behind you as if you would jump on a swimming pool. Start bending your knees, breathing in. As we breathe out, fingertips will touch the top of the mat or floor. Breathing in, opening the arms out, stay. Gaze at a point for balance. 
and slowly step your right toes on the very back of the mat Ooh. <laughs> and inhale lift your arms up for high lunge beautiful keep the right heel close to the mat but it's not dropping outwards so it can't really touch the mat stay here or hands in front of your heart and twisting on your left against the outer edge of your thigh and trying to bring the hands towards the center of your heart again you can also choose to open your arms up and down one more inhalation exhale hands together breathing in as we breathe out we step the right foot forward fingertips will touch the mat rib cage touching the top of your thighs i know we we like feeling that one more breath <laughs> yogis are crazy tongue out arms out breathing in as we breathe out, left toes on the back of the mat and slowly lifting for your lunge. Stay, open the chest, lower the hips or bring your hands together and twist on your right. Breathe. Open the chest out. One more breath. Next, how back to center. Step your left foot forward, fingertips down, breathing in. As you breathe out, palms down, stepping or hopping back as you exhale. Plank, inhale. Exhale, Chaturanga or Nishrasanchi. Inhaling, Upward Dog or Cobra. Exhale, Downward Dog. So if you need a little bit more explanation on Chaturanga, uh, come with me into it if you don't stay in your downward dog if you need a little bit of explanation on how to do chaturanga from high plank you bend your elbows and you lower slowly without sinking we keep the hips up and you lower the chest down until you're close to the mat and then the top of your feet press against the mat and you lift into upward dog the thighs are not touching the mat that's it. We all meet in downward dog. One more breath. Sign out. Inhaling for a high plank. Exhale, elbows down. Breathing in, breathing out for elbow plank. Next inhalation, lift your tailbone, step your feet forward for dolphin. Breathe in. Breathe out, bend in your knees, lower them, gaze up and arch. Exhale, dolphin. Inhale there. Exhale, lower knees. Inhale, arch. Exhale, push back. Breathe in there. Exhale, knees down. Inhale, arch. Exhale, push back. Breathe in. Breathe out, knees down. Inhale, arch. Exhale back to Dolphin. Feet together, lift your right foot all the way up. Exhale, lower the right foot on the right side of the mat and forward. Inhale up. Exhale out. Inhale up. Exhale out and down. Two more. Inhale up. Exhale out and down. Inhale up. Exhale out. Feet together, left foot up, inhale. Exhale, out and down. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Two more, breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Both feet together, breathing in. And sign out, downward dog, inhale. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale and hop into the top of your mat. Next inhalation, lift all the way up. Exhale for the best in the mountain pose. Stay and breathe. Let the air go through the mouth. One more.
Beautiful. Next, inhalation, palms together in front of your heart. Gaze down, micro bend your knees and step your right toes as far as you can back, dropping the heel down inwards, left heel aligning with the left knee. Next, inhalation, arms sweeping up for warrior one. One more breath. Staying here if it's comfortable for you or twisting on the left. Right hand on the left thigh and left arm reaching backwards. Inhale. Exhale, lowering the left arm. Inhaling for warrior one again. As you exhale, hands on the top of the mat, framing your left foot. Inhale and lift your left foot all the way up. One more inhalation. As you exhale, you bring the knee right in between your thumbs. Don't drop it down if you can, keep floating. Inhale back, exhale, lifting more. Inhale there, exhale, moving forward. Inhale back, exhale into the full pose. Inhale there, exhale, moving forward. Two more. Inhale back, exhale, full pose. Inhale there, exhale forward. Inhale back, exhale, full pose. Inhale there, exhale, sweeping your left foot forward. Dropping the right heel down on the back of the mat. Breathing in and lift. This time you can stay or instead of twisting, we will open the chest on the right side. So bring your left hand on the top of the mat, maybe beside your left foot, outwards or inwards. And then you bring your right arm really close to your cheek, almost kissing your face for extended angle. If you want to rest on the top of your thigh, that's also okay. One more breath. As we exhale, both hands on the top of the mat, breathe in, lift to the back of heel up, breathe out, stepping back for plank, breathe in, breathing out, chaturanga, breathing in, upward dog or cobra, breathing out, downward dog, stay and breathe. Anytime you need a child's pose, drop your knees down, separate them, rest your heart and your head on the mat, feel free. Always breathing through nostrils, engaging your ujjayi breath, as if you wanted to steam a mirror with your out breath through nostrils. One more breath. Beautiful. Feet together. And next, inhalation, bend your knees and slowly come into a fake tabletop. The knees are not touching the mat. Exhale, pushing back, breathing. Inhale there, exhale, fake tabletop. Inhale, moving back. Exhale, full downward dog. Inhale, moving forward. Exhale, fake tabletop. Last one, inhale, exhale. Inhale, moving forward. Exhale, fake plank. Back into downward dog, breathing in. Left leg lifts all the way up and back. As you exhale, you bring the knee between your thumbs. Pushing back, inhale. Exhale, into the full pose. Inhale, moving forward. Exhale, in between your hands. Breathing in back, breathing out full pose. Breathing in forward, breathing out full pose. Breathing in back, breathing out full pose. Breathing in forward, breathing out full pose. Last one. Breathing in back and out backwards. Breathing in forward, breathing out full pose. And stacking your left foot on the top of the mat, breathing in. As we breathe out, we'll drop the right heel again on the top of the mat and we'll repeat our warrior sequence again on the left. One more inhalation, 
stay or hands together twisting on the left breathing one more breath Tracy on the back of the room above your elbow as you exhale in as you exhale you release inhale up stay or side angle and bring your right hand to face the top of your room, the front of your room. One more breath. And exhale, training your left foot, stepping back into plank, inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhaling upward dog or cobra. Exhaling downward dog. Stay and breathe. If you need child's pose, go for it. If you want to make your downward dog a little bit more fun, it's going to be good for your hamstrings. You can step your right foot right in front of the left one and then cross the legs. The right foot is on the left side and we start doing those same movements, the fake uh, tabletop and then we push backwards so you feel your left leg working more for you. Down, just three of them. And back. Down. And back. And then the other side. Left leg is crossing on the top of the right. Down. Back. Down. And back down and back beautiful and crossing legs sweeping your right leg all the way up breathing in as you breathe out right knee in between your thumbs breathing in all the way back and up breathing out in between your thumbs breathing in and out breathing in and out, last one, breathing in. And out, stepping the right foot in between your hands and dropping the left heel down. Inhale, sweeping all the way up, warrior one. Stay or connect your hands and twist on your right side, breathing. Maybe if you need to lift to the back heel away from the mat, feel free. One more breath. As you exhale, you release. Inhaling back into warrior one, Vida Badrasana one. From here, you can rest on the top of the thigh or right hand down and left arm is pulling the rib cage to breathe better with you, parallel with the mat. One more breath. Exhale, both hands on the mat, breathing in, breathing out, stepping back, and dropping both feet down. Inhale, as you exhale, Chaturanga. Inhaling upward dog or cobra, exhaling downward dog. One more inhalation. As you exhale, bend your knees. Breathing in, just hopping to the center of the mat, halfway forward. From here, you bring your elbows to be held by your both hands. Breathing in. Sighing out. Hands on the top of the mat. Separating your feet, hip width. Bend your knees. And bring your knees on the top of your arms. If it's not today that you want to lift your feet away from the mat, that's okay, but try. Try just to lift one of them and maybe the other. And if it's not a challenging pose for you, you can try to go a little bit higher, challenging your arms from here. Drop your feet down, crawl pose, or stack, hopping back into plank. Breathing in for plank. Breathing out for Chaturanga. Breathing in upward dog or cobra. And breathing out downward dog. Stay and breathe.
One more breath. As we bend the knees, we'll sweep the right leg all the way back. Keep bending your left knee and lower it down, keeping the right leg up. Inhale, pushing back, exhale, extending your left leg. Inhale, center, exhale, lower. Inhale, center, exhale, back one more. Inhale, center, exhale, lower and drop the knee down. Step your right toes extremely on the left side of the mat. Stay, you can see those toes. Or lift your left arm up. Breathing. Gaze up. One more breath. So we exhale, both hands on the top of the mat. And lifting in three-legged dog again. Right leg up. One more breath. As you exhale, you sweep your right foot to the top of the mat. Keep your left heel up. Open your arms out. Keep the rib cage in contact with the top of your thigh. And try to lower. Imagine your arms are sticks. One stick, one long stick, and that won't bend. You just move your torso to lower your right hand. Back to center, move the torso to lower your left hand, center, right, center, left, center, right, center, Ooh. <laughs> left, center, exhale, hands framing your right foot, Stepping back into three-legged dog again, breathing in. As you breathe out, both feet are pairing. Bend your both knees and wave yourself forward in high plank. Bend your knees again and push backwards into this funny downward dog with bent knees. Move forward, plank, very water-like. Move back. Move forward, move back, move forward, move back. Last one, move forward. And as you move back, you lift your left leg and micro bend your right knee. Exhaling again and lowering the knee more, breathing in center. Breathing out through like a dog. Breathing in center. Breathing out lower. Breathing in center. Breathing out through like a dog. Last one. Beautiful. Sweeping your left foot forward. Keeping the right heel up and keep the rib cage really connecting against the the top of the thigh, open the arms out, don't lower your arms, squeeze the shoulder blades together, leaning your arm, your left arm towards the floor, and the right, center, left, center, right, center, left, center, right, center again, both hands down, Stepping back into plank, breathing in. Exhale, chaturanga. Breathing in, upward dog. Breathing out, downward dog. Go into a child's pose if you feel like. Breathing fully through nostrils. Maybe you dry. Two more. Micro-bending knees, hopping or stepping towards the top of the mat, halfway up, inhale, exhale, fold forward, fold, stay there for three more breaths. Micro-bending your knees, inhaling arms around your body, lift all the way up, 
Exhale, hands together in front of your chest. Gaze at a point a little bit above the horizon to imply courage. Try not to look down on the floor. The floor is there, always supporting us. We don't need to touch it with our eyes. Sending energy towards your right leg, making your left knee soft and sending the left foot towards your glutes. From here, maybe holding with both hands on that foot. If you don't reach it, you can use a scarf or a yoga strap. If you don't have anything like that, you can just keep the foot facing back. For those who are gripping really well on the foot, you try to lean forward, lift your left foot all the way backwards and send your right hand forward in dancer. Nakarajasana. Maybe lowering the chest even a little bit more. One more breath. From here, try to keep a hold in your foot and bring your right hand on the top of your right thigh, gazing down. See how that changes the dynamic of your pose. One more breath. Exhale, keep your left foot up and back both hands on the top of the mat. Try to lift your left leg as much as possible. Walk your hands backwards for a standing split. Mine is not that great. One more breath. Exhale, step your left toes on the back of the mat. And the right ones, inhale for plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. Exhaling, downward dog. Pause and breathe. Two more breaths. Micro bending knees, hopping or stepping towards the top of the mat, halfway up, inhale. Exhale, Uttanasana, full forward fold, three long breaths. Micro bending knees, waving all the way up. Exhale, for Namaste, stay. One more breath. Work with your dristi, your direction, your focus, softening the arms down. Start sending energy to your left foot. Make your right knee soften, bending it, sending the right foot back, and maybe holding the right foot with both hands to create space. You arch the back and pop the chest out, squeezing shoulder blades. You can stay, you can just direct the foot back and keep your hands together in front of the chest or hold just with your right hand, direct your left hand forward. Try to lift your right knee all the way back. You can gaze down, it makes you feel a little bit safer here. That's okay. From here, ooh. <laughs> From here, don't fall from your pose. Bring your left hand on the top of the thigh to see how it feels. One more breath. As we exhale, keep your right foot in there, both hands down, breathing in, breathing out, right foot on the back of the mat, left foot there, inhale for plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhaling up for dog. Exhaling down. Stay and breathe. Two more breaths. Next inhalation, right foot all the way up. As we exhale, you step the right foot out of the mat on the left, flipping the dog, lift your right hand up 
and arch your back, sending the arm backwards. One more breath. Exhale, back to plank, three-legged plank. Inhale, exhale, lean right knee forward, right in between your thumbs, lowering the hips and resting the left knee down. Stay here or lift your arms up. Interlace the fingers, arch, and open the chest to the sky. One more breath. Exhale, arms down, framing the knee, curling the left toes, lifting the left leg in three-legged dog, inhale. Exhale, flipping the dog on the left again, right arm up, arch, stay. Exhaling and stepping or floating your right foot to the back of the room, inside the plank. One more breath, lift your hips, exhale for full plank, inhale, exhale, pushing back in downward dog, breathing, breathe out, breathing in left leg up, stepping out on the right, flipping the dog, arching, breathing. One more breath, as we exhale, hands on the mat, Floating the left leg back, breathe in. Breathing out, left knee forward for half pigeon. <laughs> the top of your right foot is pressing down, stay. Use your hands to help you or lift the arms up, interlace fingers, flipping the palms to the sky, arching and breathing. One more. Exhale, hands on the top of the mat, framing the left knee, curling the right toes on the back of the mat, and three-legged dog, left leg is up. Breathing in, breathing out, flipping the dog on your right, open the chest, oops, on your left. <laughs> One more inhalation. Exhale, back to center. Back to three-legged dog, one more breath. Exhale, both feet down, stepping to the center of the mat, bending your knees and crown pose or just try or just rest your knees on your arms, but don't lift your feet if you're not safe. If you don't feel safe or have a blanket on the top of your mat in front of you if you feel you can maybe drop the head there unintentionally. One more breath. Exhaling, lowering the hips down. Open the chest and some options here as well. You can just rest in Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together, knees out, or hold your two um, big toes with your two first fingers of each hand. Lean backwards and separate your legs as much as you can. Don't force breathing in. When you breathe out, you bring your legs together in this variation of boat pose. Inhale, exhale out. Inhale together, exhale stay. Breathe in, breathe out outwards. Breathe in, breathe out together. Breathe in, breathing out, hands together, flexing the feet and lowering your legs very slowly, very, very, very slowly. <laughs> yes, even slower than that, we can do it. Beautiful. <laughs> I don't know you, but I, I shaked. I have to say that, that I was shaking. Hooking your thumbs. I shook, right? <laughs> Opening the chest. Oh, my English. Opening your heart. One more breath. From here, I like walking my heels forward to feel my sitting bones contract, um, pressing actually against the mat. So I can fold from my hips into a full forward fold, breathing.
stay and breathe. So yummy. One more. Let it go. Start sitting up slowly. Uh, remember that I promised we would do more breathing exercises. So that's the moment. Just cross our legs now that the body's full of heat, full of energy and prana. We flip our palms facing up, no mudras. Just openness. Close your eyes. Start breathing in through nostrils and hold. Let the air go in a mouth ujjayi breath, pressing the throat and listening to the wind. Squeeze the belly in, hold. Inhale, inflate. Mouth ujjayi. Inner kumbhaka. Squeeze. Breathing in. Mouth ujjayi. Inner kumbhaka. Inhale. Mouth Ujjayi, Inner Kumbha, last one, inhale, Mouth Ujjayi, in your coma. Breathing. Lie down for your Shavasana. Dropping the toes out. If you feel your lumbar is a little bit Mm, I'm happy today. Roll a blanket or place a pillow under your knees. Make your spine belong to your mat. Shoulder blades are resting so gladly. Your arms are rivers of energy. Your fingertips are pulsing with enormous quantity of prana. An enormous quantity of presence. Your facial muscles are so fully relaxed. They are just mirroring the infinite space you have inside. Observe there's a space inside. Breathe through it, with it. Expand your energy in it. Feel the joy of just resting for a couple more long breaths. The joy of just being stable in your body and being an observer of this world and your inner world. Inhaling, sign out, 
moving toes and fingers, reconnecting with your earth, your body. Bending your knees, the feet are flat on the mat. Rock your body on your right side and use your right arm as a pillow for your head while you rest there for two more long breaths. In the second exhalation, your left hand pushes against the mat and you slowly sit up, crossing your legs and you meet me here, opening the arms around your body and beautiful, full of light aura, palms together, two more breaths there, growing towards the sky, Finding space within. As you exhale again, hands together in front of your heart. Inhale. Sign out. Inhale in front.